scientist Michael Fish. We appreciate you being with us tonight on kind of a cool evening. Maybe a great night for a campfire. It's feeling like fall out there. Cassandra said it before. And speaking of which, kind of a cool day. Our high temperature on Saturday, actually the coldest since April 10th when it was 42. It's chilly out there, and it's going to get cold tonight. Now, most of us are actually going to see a hard freeze tonight. It's not being issued to the north because you've seen enough already of these hard freezes, but still, Fox Cities and right along the lake, still being issued by the National Weather Service in Green Bay here. Freeze warning for a lot of us, except for the Door Peninsula Frost Advisory for you. Either way, if you think your plants are still hanging in there and you want to save them a little bit, cover them up. <laughs> They've taken a hit, though, over and over. And again tonight, I'll get to the temperatures in a bit. 61 should be the average high. Uh, nobody making it to 50 today. Lots of 40s around here, but there's Omaha with 50, 52 in Des Moines. That for tomorrow, where right now, I mean, it's still cool out. 45 currently in Green Bay, Appleton, kind of close to what the average low should be. 47 in Sheboygan. So it's going to be a cold one tonight. Here's the thing why. We're going to lighten up the winds, and not only that, the air is dry. And off to our north and west, there's clearing. That's going to be the case as the night goes on, which means our heat going out into space. And you know the drill. It's going to get cold. Uh, the lake effect snow shower activity going to stay pretty much in the UP of Michigan. Can't even believe I'm talking about that. But yes, it's been that cold. Now, as far as your Sunday, we're still going to have a bit of a chill in the air. But all in all, a pretty nice day with more sunshine and less wind, at least compared to today. Now, here's a look at Precision Cast. And there's the lake effect going on in the UP and across the lake from us. We should have a pretty quiet night around here for the most part, and it's going to get cold overnight as we clear out those skies. Now, as far as Sunday is concerned, we're going to keep it quiet. You're going to have more sunshine and less wind. That should feel nice for you. As far as Monday is concerned, you see these isobars getting a little bit closer. And the closer they get, that means the higher the winds are going to be. They're going to be gusty going through Monday, but those winds out of the southwest are going to bring you some warmer temperatures. I'm not talking about a heat wave. It's just going to be a little bit warmer for you. Here's our next chance of rain as we go into Tuesday. That front not very strong. But tonight, look at that for a temperature, 26. If you live right along Lake Michigan, just a little bit warmer than that, but still uh, freezing. Should have two E's in there. Frezzing temperatures for a lot of us going through the night. For your Sunday, uh, 51 degrees, mostly sunny and less wind out there. You're going to notice that, which will feel pretty nice. Pretty nice Sunday, though, cooler than average. For Sunday night, increasing clouds in 33 degrees. And then for Monday, Partly cloudy, windy, warmer. You're going to notice these winds too. 35 mile per hour gusts. 62 degree high. Now remember, we still need rain around here. I'm not going to say that we need snow. Uh, there's a chance on Tuesday and Tuesday night, then dry Wednesday through Friday. Another chance by next weekend. So Cassandra tonight, look out for those frezzing temperatures. I'll fix the spelling for 10 o'clock.